let's talk about communication. Ebola has been the subject of a constant crescendoed drumbeat on every television station, every radio station, every newspaper in America. How effective do you think the news media has been in conveying the reality of Ebola versus the terror of Ebola? I think that they lean towards the sensational and that means that they really focus more on the terror rather than purely on the science. Um, they don't know the science, they can't communicate the science. Experts, experts are afraid to be wrong on television. I, I believe they could do a better job um, in, in, instead of fanning the flames, um, speak truth and rationality. Now, within the infectious disease community, who's talking? What are they talking about? Are you getting enough information? The sources are, are endless for information. Today, I checked um, the ID Society of America um, and their website, and they had some useful resources, some of which were their own in their own literature, some of which were links to the CDC. The CDC's website is wonderful, and it has very useful information for not only for healthcare workers, obviously, but, but for the public mm -hmm. in general. Now, what about general practitioners? And I don't mean GPs, but I mean non-infectious disease people. Me, I'm not an infectious disease person. Um, has enough information gotten to the general physician population to enable these physicians, if encountering some suspicious symptoms in travel history, to deal with this in an effective way? Um, no, who can ever be prepared for something like that? I mean, you know, Ebola was a paragraph in the textbooks it, long ago, and now it's front page news. Our world is changing. Our knowledge base about Ebola is still in its infancy. We have serious challenges ahead. What are the best principles you can offer to physicians confronted with somebody with a fever from an endemic area or with some suspected contact um, in terms of not just caring for that person, but in protecting him or herself? The personal protective equipment has to be put on the minute you suspect it. And I would take it a step further and until uh, that person is in the negative, negative pressure isolation room to put the mask and the gloves and the gown on the individual patient at that point until everybody involved in his care has the proper protective equipment. You know, there are reports <clears throat> that people, not doctors, people in, in Dallas, although I, I'm not excluding doctors from this, by the way, uh, who've not been exposed to the best of their knowledge to Ebola are taking extra precautions. They're out there buying what they consider to be protective clothing. Uh, and they're looking to their doctors. Doctors are still respected, by the way. No, they're not. Yeah, they are. <laughs> and they're looking to their doctors for information. And they've got, they're hoping that we, can, we as, a, as, a, as a profession, can provide them some guidance. So what are the common questions that are being asked by patients? Um, what about this Ebola thing? I said it's a huge problem and a tragedy, mostly confined to Western Africa at this time. And are there climactic factors also that would foment the natural reservoir of that virus and, and things of that nature? And mm -hmm. There's an awful lot we don't know. What should we be telling patients about prevention and risk in the United States right now? Well, not to be glib about it, but um, I, I would say that you're not at risk unless you put yourself in a position to be at risk. And that would mean I'm going to travel to Liberia tomorrow and I think I'll work in one of the healthcare facilities. Well, some of us have thought of that, thought about it again, and thought about it a third time. With all the information that's out there, what stuff isn't out there? What, what nuggets of information about Ebola should be communicated, but isn't being communicated? What they're not communicating is the immensity of the tragedy to people in Africa that are affected by this illness. To be scared over here when there's one or two cases is really a little out there. I mean, how good do we have it in the United States that we can't consider the real epidemic and the real tragedies going on in the African continent? All we're worried about is ourselves. Who, was it Stalin who said that one death is a tragedy, but a million deaths is a political statement? I, mean, I what, generally don't quote Stalin. But, but, but <laughs> his point is, his point was, not that I 
need you to understand. Admire, no. <laughs> but the point is that when it's masses of people, it's almost impossible to personalize it, to understand the tragedy, that this is somebody's mom, somebody's kid, somebody's dad, somebody's father. Uh, the image of a dead child, barely alive, barely five years old from this virus, that's the image of, of Ebola, whether it's in Africa or here. Do people understand? I don't think I, they comprehend it. I, I gather from your answer you don't. I don't think they comprehend it at all. In Monmouth County, where we have so much Lyme disease, people are on the verge of panic about a curable illness such as that. You communicate the word panic, and, and I know part of the problem from public health officials is panic. They're worried. If they go out there and they say, look, this Ebola kills people 70% of the time, it's a bad virus, you can catch it, it's, it's, it's from contact. Their fear is, the next thing they hear is screaming mobs. And they're, they're trying to walk a very fine line between informing folks about this really horrible virus and panicking them. Uh, do you understand their, their concerns? Um, I, I understand it from both both sides very well. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a human being. I'm a, I have some special training. And I'll be asked to look in on someone with Ebola, God forbid, here in the United States and hope and pray that my personal protective equipment is every bit as good as the CDC personnel you see on television. You'd go in the room? I would certainly go in the room. Okay. 